annoying because <laughs> excuse me uh, he likes to pop around um, once you reach level 14 you may come across a uh, character in a uh, come across someone inside of a tavern uh, he will challenge you to a drinking match and then never leave that tavern ever again so if you uh, went to a tavern at level 14 he spawns there but you didn't uh, trigger his conversation towards you you won't get the notification telling you where he's at which is annoying because that means you have to go to literally every tavern in, in uh, Skyrim until you find the sod. So, remember where he's at, or make sure once you see him, get close enough to have him triggered. I do believe, however, he only appears in the main taverns. You know, the taverns of the main holds. Uh, I could be wrong. Probably am. More likely than not. We are going here because I want to get my amulet of articulation. Um, let me take a drink quickly. Okay. The amulet of articulation allows, basically makes almost every and all speech checks instantaneous, proper. You do, it, do, it almost guarantees it all the time. So, we want that. I'm also going to drop off some of my uh, Deja toys. I have collected quite a few of them. I don't need them on my, on my person right now. Right, Nira, Spellbreaker. <clears throat> Was there anything else I grabbed? No, they're all in there. Okay, good. Right, over here, here's my Nightingale armor. Oh, it's not in here. It's in my jewelry chest, which is right here. <clears throat> and the articulation. There's my Daedra armor, yeah. Also, you may have been curious why I have uh, this armor, this, these robes. Um, I came across this guy, Terran Dreth, inside of the Markarth bar. Um, if you talk to him and mention you know uh, Katarina from way back, <laughs> the first uh, bonus video of the uh, Ethereum crown, uh, he will attack you. Or if you have any of the Ethereum equipment with you, he will attack you. It's really annoying, but it gets job done. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, having the amulet or really bloody high uh, speechcraft or everything will be invaluable in this uh, quest. <laughs> Yeah, big things uh, help a lot quicker. Where is the other bit? There he is. There she is. I think that was a wood elf. All right. Now I've had. Uh, I've talked. I've seen Sang when he's in the Rifted one. Where is this? Oh, Sam. When we get there, I'll uh, read the entry about Sanguine. Is there an enemy nearby? I killed them all. There we are. Fast shop. Alright, we have uh, this one, and then the last one will be, uh, the next one will be, uh, the one after this will be the final one. The uh, last one is very interesting, because I saved him for last, for, the, for a specific reason. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something, hold on.
I think out of all the uh, Daedric Princes, we only need like three of them actually in the flesh. As in their flesh, not, you know, possessing someone. No, we only need two. Unless you count uh, Meridia's Ball of Light as a, uh, as it. Alright. Let's see your books. Book of Daedra. No, three! Hemeris Mora. Forgot about him. Oh, passed him. Sanguine, whose sphere is hedonistic, uh, reverly, reverly, and debauchery, and passionate indulgence of darker d natures. So basically, he's the uh, Daedric Prince of Hedonism. Doing what you want when you want it, and regardless of the consequences. Debauchery, you know. Drinking, if you're looking for like a that. challenge, you've come to the right. A few What's drinks, a few laughs, and a contest. What could be better? They represent the reason I'm here. Ha! We'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Your turn. One down, my friend, one down. And another one for me. And how about you? So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Wow. You've really done it. The staff is yours. You know, you're a fun person to drink with. I know this great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. Hey, you don't look so good. And pass out. Lightweight, jeez. Alright, let's equip our amulet now. There's Senna. Hello, honey. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. I see. So, you don't remember fondling the statuary, then? I'm guessing you also don't remember coming in here and blathering incoherently about marriage or a goat. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Well... You were deep in your cups when you got here. You were ranting, but most of it was slurred. You said something about Rorikstead. You and I were the only people in Skyrim worth loving. That's what I think. Oh, really? And where were you thinking? Leaving? Take the world by storm, dearest. Ah, uh, Santa. Let's wait and see if she teleports back home. Good. Um, without the amulet, you have been forced to pick up all the garbage. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Or just outright, uh, pay. So with the amulet, you're able to, con you're able to uh, talk your way out of things. So let's see here. We went all the way from Riften to Markarth in a drunken haze. Hmm. Damn. That is a... I'm certain a very interesting tale. I wonder. Nope, don't have it. We don't have that uh, infamous staff, what's his name mentioned, Sam mentioned. Alright. Go to Warwickstead and uh, find out about this marriage goat thing. I would recommend uh, doing this quest specifically early in the game. Uh, if you do it later in the game, there may be a dragon that spawned, and you don't want that.
Where am I? There we are. Hello. You. You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Is that so? Does the name Gleda ring a bell? The star beauty of my farm? Kidnapped by a drunk lout and sold to a giant? You better remember her right fast before I call the guards and have you hauled away. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. And don't you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant. I suppose that makes sense. You didn't mention a Sam, and nothing you said about the staff made sense. You left a note, but it was mostly gibberish. The only bit I could make out was after repaying Isolde in Whiterun. Until next time. I don't want to worry about the giant, so... What if I, have, if I can get the note from him? Nope. I'm curious about that note. <laughs> Back to Whiterun. Hello. Jeez, it's taking a while. you need. Hopefully I'm not a uh, blood star from all these uh, fast travels. <laughs> there she is. So, you're finally back. Look, I've been patient, but you still owe me. Oh, what's wrong? Did the engagement fall through? Look, how about we call it even, as long as you bring back the wedding ring? That's really a shame. I was so looking forward to the wedding. You said you'd have all the most interesting guests. You went right out to give it to your fiancé. Don't you even remember where you left him? And after you told me that sweet story of how you met in Witchmist Grove, I can see why he left you. You must have had a wild night if you can't remember that. But I suppose everyone gets the jitters before their wedding. And I did say you could take a bit of time paying me back. You said the ceremony was going to be at Morvenskar. Don't forget you still owe me. I love how she never mentions it. Ever again. Fair. I was fine that they mention a him, considering the person you go talk to is a hag raven. I've, uh, been here before as a part of a quest, I think. Why did I go here again? I don't know why I went here. I think I might just went here and, uh, slaughtered everyone in sight. Oh, right, there was a, uh, Book somewhere that gave me a uh, enchantment plus that thing, a uh, a skill point something. <clears throat> I came here looking for it. Whoa! may need to heal. Someone something something. Alright, I don't need this to emulate. It doesn't next anymore, so let's get that back. Just damn it. Now it's a mind to command. And you stuck in me with a freaking dagger. Smooth! I uh, don't let it increase the looks of it. By the looks of it. While I'm editing, I'm still going to start grinding on those freaking ench the enchanting levels. <laughs> this is starting to get, uh, ridiculous.
Oh crap, it's Bard again. <laughs> Empty wine bottles, so we continue drinking along the way. Nice. I'm not sure what happens if you, uh, come here right away or not. They really tried. There we are. Hop the railing. Yeah. I hopped the railing and landed right on a pressure plate that shot fire at me. The fuck? Right, I'm actually gonna do this. If they don't see me, they won't attack me, and I can get into the portal. It's gonna open up in a second. Now I don't have to worry about fighting them. And the rest of the freaking place. Oh, I love this area. I really wish you'd come here more often, or had a uh, way to make interdimensional houses and build one in an area like this. Hey, buddy. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. You're here. I was beginning to think you might not make it. I thought you might not remember your first trip here. You had a big night. I think you've definitely earned the staff. Oh, the Hagraven feather and so on. You can throw all those out. You see... I really just needed something to encourage you to go out into the world and spread merriment. And you did just that. I haven't been so entertained in at least a hundred years. Just a prank? Just a prank? The Daedric Lord of Debauchery does not deal in mere pranks. This may have begun as a minor amusement, but it wasn't long before I realized you'd make a more interesting bearer of my not-quite-holy staff. My pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. No fun keeping you locked up in here with the staff. Nice! Now where to, where is it gonna let us out at? That's the question. Oh, back in the Riften Pub. Alright, so we got the uh, Sanguine Rose, which is a staff that summons a Dramora for a minute. I like it. I don't have any business with you. Alright, time for the final Daedra quest, finally. There are no requirements to start this, all you need to do is go to uh, Solitude. You may want to have an amulet of articulation as well. For uh, convincing purposes. May, keyword. Not 100% sure if you do or not. Do need it or not. Let's drink a uh, potion, or a uh, bottle of blood. So let's see, if we went from... Let's see if we can keep track of it, okay. Riften to Markarth. No, no, we went from Riften to that rune we were just in, uh, that fort, to Whiterun to get the ring, to... <laughs> Rorik said for some reason to sell a goat to a giant, probably to afford the ring, and then uh, went to the Temple of Debella, probably to get Debella's blessing. All to marry a Hagraven. Seriously, it's a Hagraven. You go there, she yells at you for not remembering it, not remembering her, or the wedding. All right, now that we're here, we need to find someone. He is uh, roaming the streets out here. There he is.
My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Jarl. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Interesting. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. All right, then. Interesting. <laughs> All right, let's go check out uh, this bone real quickly. <laughs> Actually, he has a pelvis. Pelagius. Um, he was an emperor at one point. I can't remember what era, though. So we have the hip bone of an emperor. That'd be kind of awkward to explain to the guards. Like, yeah, I have this hip bone. Okay. It's from the, from the late emperor. Right. Let's kill her. Jeez. Weird. Alright. Now, the reason why we need the necklace is so we can convince ourselves to get inside of the uh, locked wing, because we don't have the key to it. So let's re equip that. Can we talk to. The, who do we talk to for this? The three people that are in charge of this, this wing. Watch your feet. We just clean the air. The courier must have found you. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed. For hundreds of years, and for good reason. They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. I'll make an exception for you, but do not bring anything out when you leave. Too many dark deeds transpired in those halls. All right, sure. Anyone. So I didn't need the, the necklace. I probably need it for one of the other people, but for him, uh, I've done deeds for uh, uh, Solitude that uh, made me the, the uh, Thane here, so I didn't, don't really need to worry about that. Alright. This way. You know, for a place that hasn't been... Uh, it, no one's been inside of for ye uh, hundreds of years. Surprise! Our candles lit. Oh, that's awkward. Suddenly teleport away. Farty. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Fuck. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rumpf! Well, then. If you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. How rude! Can't be 
be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! But honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Surely, good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me if you're partial. Ain't a life immortal. Alright, hopefully it's gonna be a fix now, guys. Sorry about that. Let's continue. If not, then call me Sheagorath. Daedric, Prince of Madness. Charm. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? There's no, uh, could be about it. We have to use it. Anyway, um, I can't go into my inventory. I was going to read about, I got the trophy, about, uh, Saragoth, but we're going to do that afterwards, I guess. Anyway, let's go over here first. Ah, now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, the keenest hatred was... You always get his death. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out. He never should have come here. The self-loathing. This is anger. Strength with every hit. You must bring the two in Come on, go away. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself. And continue hating everyone else. Hi. Got something to say? 
Jeez, he's huge. Alright, let's go to the next area. Basically, we have to solve the... the we have to uh, cure the demented mind of a... long-dead emperor. Fun little side note, there are theories about uh, Shagoth's form here. Do you mind? Specifically, I'm the uh, eyes the themselves. It's a very delicate state of mind. <laughs> um, you there are rumors... down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Um, as I was saying, the eyes are a uh, giveaway to a rumor that uh, after Oblivion, Shagroff actually took possession of the main character's body. Not sure how. I made a goat. Alright. Wake up. Now ain't this a surprise. Best. Yep. Little boy. Hi, Raven. A woman. It's actually a funny joke about this guy, uh, this uh, maiden. If you're able to get her to talk, she actually uses the voice of a voice of a man. As pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? There you go. Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Unfortunately, you can't check that chest. I tried. I just tried to. All right, we have one last area to go through now. Once we're done with all this, I'll explain uh, who Shargoth actually is and or oh, the, his entry in the book. Good or not. choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> You might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered! The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabaja to defeat the enemy, but they do the same. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out! With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the illusion that he's safe. Helped him out, sir. And we're that much closer to home. Fetch got it all done. It's a shame that my uh, recorder acted up a few minutes ago, because it's only like, you know, six minutes in this bit. Eh, it's kind of annoying. Oh well. Hello. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash, or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go, really. Pelagius Septum the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. 
The trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage. Luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabba Jack. As a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ah, ta-ta. There are a lot of references to uh, the Oblivion game uh, in this quest. Uh, I believe Pelagius was the, one of the characters in that game. I'm not 100 sure on that one. Uh, Shivering Islands is one of the DLCs. New Shelf is the area where you want, where you need to go. Just a bunch of stuff. Anyway, the Wabba Jack. Interesting item. The blast of the Wabba Jack has an unpredicted effect. Literally unpredictable effect. Uh, the, I've seen it uh, turn enemies into sweet rolls. Uh, turn a dragon into a freaking rabbit. Uh, it's very interesting effects. There's even a character running around now that you have it that will actually ask you to use it on her. It's bizarre. And for the final bit of this sec section, let us find out who Shagoth is in this book. What it says about him. It should be interesting. Shagoth, whose seer is madness and whose motives are unknowable. Literally. And then, uh... Namira. Whose fear is the realm of dreams and nightmares, and from whom's realm... Yeah, okay. So that are that is all of the... I still have the freaking clothing. All of the uh, day requests. I hope you hope this found help, was helpful for you guys, and I shall see you next time. If you want to see the bonus videos, I recommend it. We're doing uh, active effects that are permanent, which is always good to have. See you next time. Hello and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you'd like to show your support, feel free to leave a like or a comment. And if you really want to show your support, just go to our Facebook channel or our Twitter and like and follow us. Thank you again for watching the video and I hope to see you guys in the next set. Bye!